you, me, because of Winn-Dixie Reader's Woodshop. Yeah, I love it. Chapter 14. Sometimes I told Gloria the story Miss Branny Block had just told me, or I imitated Otis tapping his pointy-toed boots and playing for all the animals, and that always made her laugh. And sometimes I made up a story, and Gloria Dump would listen to it all the way through from beginning to end. She told me she used to love to read stories, but she can't anymore because her eyes are so bad. Can't you get some really strong glasses? I asked her. Child, she said, they don't make glasses strong enough for these eyes. One day, when the storytelling was done, I decided to tell Gloria that Otis was a criminal. I thought maybe I should tell an adult about it, and Gloria was the best adult I knew. Gloria, I said, mm-hmm, she said back. You know Otis? I don't know him, but I know what you tell me about him. Well, he's a criminal. He's been in jail. Do you think I should be afraid of him? What for? I don't know, for doing bad things, I guess, for being in jail. Child, said Gloria, let me show you something. She got up out of her chair real slow and took hold of my arm. Let's the two of us walk all the way back, all the way to the back of this yard. Okay, I said. We walked and when Dixie followed right behind us, it was a huge yard and I had never been all the way back in it. When we got to the big old tree, we stopped. Look at this tree, Gloria said. I looked up. There were bottles hanging from just about every branch. There were whiskey bottles and beer bottles and wine bottles all tied up with string, and some of them were clanking against each other and making a spooky kind of noise. Me and Win Dixie stood and stared at the tree, and the hair on top of his head rose up a little bit, and he growled deep in his throat. Gloria Dumped pointed her cane at the tree. What do you think about this tree? I said, I don't know. Why are all those bottles in it? To keep the ghosts away, Gloria said. What ghosts? The ghosts of all the things I have done wrong. I looked at all the bottles on the tree. You did that many things wrong, I asked her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, said Gloria. More than that. But you're the nicest person I know, I told her. Don't mean I haven't done some bad things, she said. There's whiskey bottles on there, I told her, and beer bottles. Child, said Gloria Dump, I know that. I'm the one who put them there. I'm the one who drank what was in them. My mama drank. I know it, Gloria Dump said. The preacher says that sometimes she couldn't stop drinking. Mm-hmm, said Gloria again. That's the way it is for some folks. We get started and we can't get stopped. Are you one of those people? Yes, ma'am, I am. But these days, I don't drink anything stronger than coffee. Did the whiskey and beer and wine, did they make you do the bad things that are all ghosts now? Some of them, said Gloria Dump. Some of them I wouldn't have done anyway, with alcohol or without it before I learned. Learned what? Learned what is the most important thing. What's that? I asked her. It's different for everyone, she said. You'll find out on your own. But in the meantime, you've got to remember, you can't always judge people by the things they've done. You've got to judge them by what they are doing now. You judge Otis by the pretty music he plays and know how kind he is to the, and how kind he is to them animals because that's all you know about him right now. All right? Yes, ma'am, I said. And then Dewberry boys, you try not to judge them harsh either. All right? All right, I said. All right then, said Gloria Dump, and she turned and started walking away. When Dixie nudged me with his wet nose and wagged his tail. When he saw I wasn't going, he trotted after Gloria. I stayed where I was and studied the tree. I wondered if my mama, wherever she was, had a tree full of bottles. And I wondered if I was a ghost to her, the same way she sometimes seemed like a ghost to me. I can't, I can't say it enough, I love this book. Alrighty.
when, when next we meet, chapter 15. See you then.